Brady can chuck it and scores! I Shabbat curl and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Five apart later, Chad Mavlin scores! Great Mavlin scores! Oh, and drops it! Green! Oh, Green again! And scores! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I'm your host. Now, before we start, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sense Talk. Now, tonight the Ottawa Sanders took on the Winnipeg Jets in game number 15. But before we get to that, a few things. Firstly, in the link in the description below, you can order a Sense Talk shotgun tool. We've sold out three times. We made some more. The support has been immense. Thank you very much for the support. If you want to help financially support the channel, link in the description below to order a fun piece of merchandise. As well, SeatGeek.com, use the promo code Sense Talk to save $20 off your first purchase. Um, that's another way to help the channel out if you'd like now let's get into tonight's game versus the winnipeg jets a few lineup notes actually quite a bit firstly rtm zub just announced before game time that he was out for tonight's game because of inconclusive covid19 test this is coming an hour or two after the edmonton oilers uh, forward yesi puliyarvi was put on covid19 uh protocol list so uh inconclusive test does not mean he has it it also doesn't mean he doesn't have it. So it's good that the Sanders took him out for precautionary reasons. And hopefully uh, for the next Sens game, he will be okay. Uh, it sucks to see Zubby gone, but hey, health is more important than anything else. Now, Artem Anisimov cleared waivers, so he's put on the taxi or Uber squad. And in a corresponding move, a lot of people thought this would be an opening for Logan Brown to be put into the lineup. No, in fact, Logan Brown sent down to Belleville. Matthew Pekka recalled from Belleville. A little shocking, to be honest. But, um, you know... I understand the reasoning in some way. Um, they want to give Brown some minutes before uh, time in the NHL with the AHL team. So I would assume, uh, since this, the Belleville Sanders are playing a few games this weekend, he'll play a few games, and then probably next week uh, he'll be called up to the big club. That's what I hope anyways. Now let's get to the game number 15 lineup for your Ottawa Sanders. The first line was Brady Kachuk with Chris Turney and Connor Brown. The second line, Nick Paul, who was game time decision for tonight's game. Luckily he's in with Colin White and Evgeny Dadanov. That second line looked fantastic, and uh, I want to see them... Uh, Together, moving forward, they have some clear, great chemistry. And what's interesting is Colin White, whoever he plays with, has chemistry. That usually tends to mean that he's a good player, and that means you got to keep him in the top six. DJ Smith, if you're watching this, I know you are, buddy. Keep Colin White in the top six. Now, the third line, Tim Stutzla, Dirk Stepan, Drake Batherson. This line is almost perfect. All you got to do is put Josh Norris there, and that's a that's a beautiful line. The fourth line, Chucky, get Alex Kalchenuk, Josh Norris, Austin Watson, like I just said, Norris should be on the third line at least. Now, the defensive pairing, Shabbat, Zaitsev, Riley, Josh Brown, who actually I didn't think was too bad in the first period, Josh Brown. We'll land in Goodbranson. Scratch for tonight's game was Cedric Paquette, Josh Brown, and Matthew Pekka. Uh, injured was Eric Brandstrom. He's still out. Uh, should be back within the week. And, of course, COVID, uh, RTM's up precautionary. Now let's get to the first period play where there's no goals after one period. It's a 0-0 game. But the shots and goal after the first period were 17-6 in favor of your Ottawa Sanders. They dominated from the start. Colin White got a couple chances. Uh, and the Jets really had no chances going into that period. Uh, they had nothing going on. Uh, Connor Hellebuck, uh, you know, he faced the power play, made a couple big stops. Uh, overall, Ottawa, 17 shots on that. It's a big feat against a team like Winnipeg. They're a top team in the NHL. Um, but you got to bury these chances. You got to bury those chances. So going into the second period, I'm looking at, you know, I'm looking at a guy like Brady Kachuk. I'm looking at a guy like a, a Colin White, Evgeny Dadanov, for sure Evgeny Dadanov. I'm looking at these type of guys, these players that we expect to score, to start putting the puck in the back of the net because we need to start scoring. So let's see what happens in the second period of play. But if Ottawa continues to play as well as they did in the first period, not much to worry about. But uh, hopefully I don't have to bite my words. Let's get to the second period of play. I am beyond sick and tired, frankly, of recording, no matter what part of the game, every single game this season for your Ottawa Sanders, for at some point in the game, the recap turns to this point, where I'm discussing how the Sanders played so well, and then it all fell apart. It all fell apart. And I bit, I bit my words. I have to bite my words. The Sanders are playing well. They played well in the first period. Then eight seconds in, it all goes away, and they throw the game away, and it's a bad bounce. And listen, it's not the Sens' fault that this happened. Listen, Murray chases the puck, the defense miscommunicates, and just like that, Stashney puts it home. The Jets are up one nothing. What are you going to do? Things happen. That's hockey. But what I'm trying to say here is it's... I understand. I, I Into the season, I, I completely expected us to not be cup contenders or competing for Stanley Cups. 
or competing for a playoff spot. But God damn it, man. I would like to see some goals. I want to see some goals. We're, we're paying Evgeny Dadanov $15 million for the next three years. And what he does here, eight minutes in, it's something we've seen so often this season. Yes, he scored back-to-back games. Congratulations, Evgeny Dadanov. But you know what you also do? You also like to slip on the ice. You slip on the ice, and you do it often. You know what just happened? You slipped on the ice. You turned over the puck. Guess what happened? DeMello, from the point, slaps it home, deflects off Dadanov to put the cherry on top. The Jets lead 2-0. And it doesn't get any better, ladies and gentlemen, because the Sanders can't do anything. They put the puck on net. It's, it's There's like a brick wall in the net. Every single time the Sens play, there's a brick wall in the net, and they're not going to score. End of story. They're just not going to score with a brick in the, a brick uh, a brick wall in the net. They're just not going to score. They can't buy a goal. The second goal, clear example of what's wrong with Dadanov this season. You gotta, I don't know what is wrong with his edges. He keeps on falling on the ice. I could, it should be a drinking game, frankly. You could watch a game. Watch Dadanov alone. I guarantee you, you'll watch him fall on the ice five times. We're not paying you $5 million a year, Evgeny Dadanov, to fall on the ice. Sharpen your skates. Work on your edges. I don't care, frankly. I don't give a damn, frankly. Work on it. You're, we're paying you enough money. And I'm sick and tired of seeing him fall on the ice every freaking play. It's enough. And it ends up in the back of the net. The Jets lead 2 nothing. The Sanders get nothing going. They get some chances. Connor Brown gets another shot, but he gets stopped because he's Eric Condra 2.0. And then with 30 seconds left in the period, uh, the Sanders are on a penalty kill thanks to a questionable call and a good Branson penalty. And the puck ends up in the back of the net. Matt Murray, I feel bad for you, buddy. You can't stop this one. The Jets are up 3-0 going into the third period where, yes, the Sanders played. This is like the story of the season. First period, oh yeah, they played well. Second period, they collapsed. Third period, they just they sat down and they just folded. My second period thoughts. I have to eat my words. I have to. Frankly, I'm sick and tired of the same damn thing every single game. Something's got to change. Something has to change. Because, frankly, I'm losing my mind here. I am losing my mind because the Sanders are getting bounces. They're generating chances. And then it always ends up in the back of the net. There's always something that just changes it all. In the blink of an eye. And they just can't... They just can't buy a goal right now. And I can't take it anymore. I just can't. It's ridiculous. So in the third period, ladies and gentlemen... I am praying... For 17 goals for your Ottawa Sanders. I don't give a damn. Score 17 goals. Score some goals. We need goals. I ne- I understand. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna win the Stanley Cup. We're not a playoff contender. But score goals. Dad enough. We pay you $5 million dollars. Start scoring some goals. I know you score back-to-back games, but, buddy, you fall down 10 times a game. It's time to score some goals. Brady Kachuk, you're generating chances. You got three goals in the season. That's got to change. You got to look at Derek Stepan. We traded a second-round pick for you. I can't even... you're, You're unexistent on the ice. I don't see you out there. This team has so many good players, but they're getting stifled, and it has to stop now. Let's get to the third period play where hopefully I have a brighter smile on my face. This is a weird feeling. Um... I've never recorded a video during the game, but I am right now. It's the third period of play. There's a few minutes left in the game. Sends are down 5-1. Um, Matt Murray's, by the way, he's out. He's injured. Uh, he he was removed after the second period of play. Uh, Marcus Hogwerk replaced him, and he looked terrible. He should be waived after tonight's game. Um, for sure, get Joey DeCord or Gustav, uh, Philip Gustafson in there. Uh, we've seen enough of Marcus Hogwerk. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're done. you got to put on waivers. Um, but, um, you know... I just didn't feel... I love making these videos and I appreciate all the support and I'm always going to make the great content for you guys. But frankly, tonight, I just did not feel like recording and editing for another hour. For 8 o'clock games, um, editing, uploading, I'm up until 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, okay? Um, and I was, I'm was i just not going to do that tonight. I'm just not going to because you know what? If they're not going to put the effort out there in the third period, I'm not going to put the effort to analyze the Jets' goals on my team tonight. Jets... Are currently up five to one. And they're going to win this game five to one, and the Sens, they just look lost, man. They look lost. There's no easy fix. There is no easy fix. Um, it's the same thing after every single game. First period or some point in the game, they're looking great. Smallest thing happens, and it's just a roller coaster of events where it all just goes downhill. I don't know how you fix it. Firing the coach wouldn't help. What, what's that going to do? The team still can't score. Same players on the ice up to the management to make the decisions the pro scouting has been terrible so there's a lot of bad things going on right now a lot of bad things um so hopefully uh 
like Bruce Garriock said uh, during the second intermission, I believe that um, Joey Decord is probably going to get to start next week against Toronto. That's good. That's good. Um, but um, I don't know if Joey Decord, he's not the savior. He's still a prospect himself. So I don't know what you're going to do here. I don't know what you're going to do. Um, you brought in some talent. They're not producing. They're not performing like uh, they were expected to. Um, the team looks completely lost and without any confidence. And, uh, you know, you've lost, like, your last 12 out of 15 games or something crazy like that. So, I don't know what you're going to do here. I don't even know if we're going to win 10 games. But um, I'm not going to do a 10 stocks throughout the night. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm just, frankly, I'm, I'm fed up. Because you guys put all your... Uh, you put a lot of time into watching these games and watching these videos. I put in five hours a night in editing, analyzing, recording writing this that this that there's so much and i love doing it but tonight no not tonight tonight i'm just gonna talk i'm gonna talk to you guys um and you know it's it's unfortunate but it is what it is uh, sends by the way just lost five to one the puck uh the the, the the buzzer just went whatever the hell you want to call it um i'm just gonna keep it wrong i'm gonna keep it real with you guys like i just it hurts it, it really just sucks because going into the season we didn't expect much but we expected more uh and um, what we're getting right now is just frustrating because you're you're seeing the team start off the game as well, and then it all just crashes. They can't handle adversity, and I'm sorry, these are not the pesky sins. This is not what the sins organization is about. So you got to be able to face adversity in the NHL, especially as a young team. And this team can't do it. So that's up to the the leaders. That's up to the veterans that we brought in here. That's up to the coaching staff to you know fix the situation. But um, yeah, you know. <sighs> sucks it sucks right now now i'm gonna i don't know when the next sends game is i'm gonna i'm gonna double check right now for you guys um and I, i'm keep i'm not even gonna edit this i'm just gonna keep this going i'm gonna keep this as a long third period recap uh because you know what i think you guys deserve to just keep see the raw emotion to me right now because i'm, I'm tired of it uh the next sends game is on saturday at 3 p.m eastern time versus the jets so well we'll see you then but um yeah yeah Please comment below. I'm going to be engaging with all the comments. Um, I'll be engaging. I'll be I'll be there. I'll be commenting. I'll be in the chat box right now on the premiere. I'm there. And uh, I love this community. You guys are the sole reason why I'm still making these videos. Because I'm losing my damn mind. So I appreciate you guys for the support. I, I love you guys. I love all of you. Every single one of my fans. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with me. Even during this... Let's call it unfortunate events. Um, besides that, the Sens lose 5-1. to one, And um, that's where I'm going to leave it off. I'll see you on Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And I uh, love you guys very much. Thank you for watching. Go Sens go.